Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. It's finally happening. I'm so excited. The first over-the-air update for the ID family and especially my ID3 Walter <laughs> is coming this week and I'm very excited. It's amazing that this is finally happening. I was looking forward to that and and uh, so you know everything that has to do with the update i had a meeting with volkswagen they asked millions of questions and i have them all for you and we're going through a few steps the requirements the rollout of the update the procedure and then of course the content of the update the requirements are three things an ID car, ID3, ID4. You need the latest software 2.1, which on your car should show 0792. And your car has to be connected to WeConnect ID. You have to be connected to the app, otherwise you cannot receive over-the-air updates. The rollout. How Volkswagen will distribute the update is in uh, three waves. First wave are a few cars where it will be tested on if the uh, update works, if it's downloaded properly, if the installation, if it all works like it should. The second then will be the first movers. The first movers, so ID3 first movers, get the update before all the other ones because after that then the rest the first movers should get it around Wednesday is the start uh, of that and for for all the rest should be in the beginning of August and this will also include ID4 and when I say rest I really mean all over Europe all the cars at the same time not every car will receive the update at the same time we'll go through this in a second the procedure. So uh, Volkswagen will set your VIN uh, as being uh, acceptable to get the update and with the requirements that I just said. And this is the important thing. The car itself asks the back end, so the server of Volkswagen, if there's a, a, an update available once a week. And this is in the car since it was built, since that module was activated. So nobody knows when that is. It could be on Sunday evening, it could be Wednesday morning, nobody knows. <laughs> and so the thing is, the car asks for the update, Volkswagen says your car can have the update and then it will start downloading. Very important for the download. Uh, the download is only happening via 4G when the car is on. So when you park your car, have it connected to Wi-Fi, the update will not be downloaded. Download only via f the, the car's internal 4G. When you connect the car to your phone via Wi-Fi and then 4G, it doesn't work. The car has to be itself connected to 4G and it has to be on. So either you're driving, sitting in the car or whatever, and then download will start. The problem is you cannot see that the download has started. So <laughs> you have to wait till download is complete and then you get a message. In that message you see what you have to do and you see the release notes. So what the update will improve or what it uh, adds to your car. And then uh, there's also requirements that maybe you have to turn off the light or whatever. Something that you have to do so that the update process can start. To actually start the update the car has to be in park has to be stationary and when you do it in the ID cars when you put it into park and get off the, the brake then you get the goodbye uh, screen and in the goodbye screen it will say then update available you click on that see all the requirements are, are met and then you can start the update during the update the car is not usable it cannot drive it can be locked and unlocked that still works important is here if you start the update get out of the car lock and then you unlock the car in uh, about two minutes after the starting process update is cancelled automatically it sees that as you wanting to cancel the update you want to drive or something if you wait more than those uh, two minutes it will start uh, it will continue updating but you can still lock and unlock so you can get into your car and lock it again it's no no problem there will be two updates they call it uh, com campaign one and two 
we'll talk about what's included in those uh, in a second. Uh, campaign one is a smaller package. Installation should take around 40 minutes. Download, how long the download takes, it always depends where you are, if your 4G connection is amazing or not, and how, how you're driving, if you drive a lot or not. So this depends on that. The second update is the big one for the infotainment system. It's six gigabyte uh, big, <laughs> um, and it uh, takes around three, a bit less than three hours to install. In this time, 35 control units in the car will be updated. But now let's get to the important stuff. What does the update include? The first update, campaign one, is the camera update for the assist system. This will improve, um, so it's optimized surrounding detection, especially for your dynamic headlight control, sort of outer high beam. It, it will detect where to, uh, where not to uh, have a car or where the car is, so those get, get not blinded. This is improved and also the augmented part of your head-up display will be improved with that. Uh, in the bigger update, campaign 2, um, you have new functions, so it, it's the, the, the whole infotainment system is being updated. And you have a, a, a few things there that are new. First, the ID light gets more functions. Uh, it will show if your adaptive cruise control distance is too low. So if too close to a car that you normally see in the instrument cluster. So not too close that it's a front assist arrow. So it's just you're too close and then it will show a different a color if um, you're driving with a travel assist but you don't have your hands on the steering wheel you know that warning that comes up please keep your hand on the steering wheel this will also be in the id light the efficiency assist will be in the id light so when you're going to a roundabout and the car thinks you can get off the accelerator pedal reach and will will pull um, will slow you down in a good way to be very efficient it will show that and turtle mode so if you're in turtle mode the color of the id ID light will change and will show that oh my god you're very low on state of charge the infotainment system itself gets a, a bit of a redesign and uh, the 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 main part is that you know that the 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 line that goes through the infotainment system will be gone, so it's a bit of a different uh, look. And the home button uh, will get a, a bit of a different design. You can now put in the Volkswagen logo or your flag, um, it's except for the Switzerland flag, flag because there's license with the Swiss flag for some reason. They couldn't do that. And also, when you are in in a screen and where the home button will lead you through the to the view where you have all those different buttons, um, then the the home button will have a different design that you go you that you know that you're getting there. And that's it for the content. What's important also for the people who are just buying ID3s and ID4s is that since week 25, so two weeks ago or so, cars that are being built right now already have 2.3 installed on the car. But I don't know when delivery of those cars is. The overall strategy for those updates in the future will be that there will be more little up, uh, uh, updates than just big ones so you uh, it's, it's more likely than it uh, that um, every f few weeks every month every two months there will be a small update then it's, it's in six months you get an enormous update so they, they they trying to get to the strategy that you get a lot of updates but small ones that don't take that much that long but that's it for me. I'm very excited for that. Hopefully uh, I get my update soon. I hope you too. And if I have to update, I will show you that, of course, in the video. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.